going on guys so today we are here in a small town just outside of Kharkov in the eastern Ukraine we are around I would say about 38 40 miles from the Russian border and about 60 kilometers from the Russian border so in this video I just wanted to show you what a typical Ukrainian village looks like in the eastern part of the country because obviously the eastern part is very different than the western part and so in this video we're going to be looking at what a typical village looks like here in the eastern part uh, in near the Russian border a Russian speaking part so you can take a look and it's about zero degrees Celsius now or 32 degrees Fahrenheit for all the Americans out there and so we're gonna have a little bit of a walking tour this is what the street looks like we have some buildings here some houses this is what it looks like and so we are gonna go to one of the main streets do a little bit of shopping just to show you what it looks like so you kind of have an idea because because the thing the thing you have to understand is that it's one thing to look at big cities but it's another thing to look at smaller cities the villages the rural life as we like to call it so you guys have a better understanding of how people really live outside the bigger cities and outside the capital so here we have the typical street here here's a car a really nice car one of the locals here and you can see what the typical houses look like you have some uh, newer houses some older houses you have uh, these high barriers that people like to build and so one thing I want to point out is that here in Ukraine is you're kind of free to build what you want so for instance here you have a house that's gonna be bigger than the neighbors right and then you have houses that are smaller and so you kind of have you're free in a sense that you don't need a permit to build a certain type of house like in other countries you buy a land and then you can go out and build what you want that's one thing I want to point out so you're there's a lot less regulation and you're more free to kind of do what you want obviously within the laws of this country and all that but you have a lot more latitude than in some other places where you have, you have strict controls what you can build and when you can build so for instance here's a, a smaller house it's only one uh, one story and I don't think there's a lot of people living there right now it's not very taken care of and then here's some a little bit of a more of a modern house in the front and so and then as we're going on the left hand side you're gonna see even um, a much more modern house and there are cars parked so obviously there are people living there and so you can take a look at that house that looks like a nice place and so that's kind of the situation you buy a piece of land a plot of land and you can pretty much build what you want on it which is you know it has its pros and cons if you think about it. what I want to bring your attention is that on one side of the street you have fairly um, fairly modern buildings fairly modern houses that were built and then you have this um, this thing in the middle of the road with trees sticking out and then the other thing is that you have some uh, some you know some garbage here some uh, you know some uninhabitable land here and so that is the contrast that you see in Ukraine is that you have a lot of um, you know you have some nice areas and then 
just across the street you have not so nice areas and so that is something to keep in mind so one thing that i want to mention is that as you head more east you're gonna see more of these older cars more soviet cars more of these ladas jigulis things like that and that is something you don't really see when you are in the capital of kiev because they have more modern cars here and so in front of me you see what i believe is one of the most kind of modern stores here it doesn't look like your typical uh, soviet store it looks pretty modern which is kind of surprising in a kind of a city like this i didn't expect this but it's good to see that things are getting more and more modern it's definitely something that's nice to see So now I'm walking around and I believe this is one of the main parks, if not the main park here, which is a pretty cool park. Of course, it's nothing like in the capital of Kiev or in some of the big cities, obviously the big cities that have nicer parks. But still, this is a park, there's a, an area for kids, which looks like a pretty modernized, pretty cool. And so there's some kids here can hang out. And so this is what a typical park looks here in one of the smallest cities in Ukraine. It's obviously nothing much to write home about, but nevertheless, it's something uh, where people can come and hang out. It's a little, little bit cold today, so obviously there's nobody here. But, you know, in the summer, this is a place people can come and hang out. And so a couple of other interesting facts about this part of, of the world, this part of Ukraine, is that this is a very industrialized part, right? The eastern Ukraine is considered very industrialized compared to uh, the center, the, uh, the western Ukraine, the southern Ukraine. And so there's a lot of, or at least were, a lot of factories that were producing a lot of interesting things. Uh, this I'm talking about consumer goods, factory goods, military goods, things like that. And after the whole uh, Maidan thing that happened five, six years ago, or even almost seven years ago, six plus years ago, a lot of the trade with Russia, they stopped a lot of the trade with Russia. And as a result, the, you know, the factories stopped producing and you know there there was an economic uh economic hardship here because a lot of people were depending on this trade with russia because they were producing a lot of these things and so this is something to keep in mind the western part of the country is not very industrialized it's more scenic it's more beautiful but this part of the country is more industrialized and so that is something to keep in mind and so as a result of this uh, kind of this, uh, you know, this halt in trade with Russia, things changed and people started, you know, they, they needed to uh, start thinking, trying to find new markets, seeing where they can sell their goods later on. Now we are going to look at the kids school, kindergarten that was built and opened by the president of Ukraine. So he recently came here to take a look at this kindergarten and apparently they opened it for his visit and then they closed it right back for some reason. That is what the locals are telling me. And this was built and opened specifically for him. And take a look at this. Take a look at the roads here. Take a look at the quality of roads, how new they are. And this is the place. This is what it looks like. This was actually built and opened just so that the president can come and he can check it out. 
and look how new it is and apparently they closed it maybe it's because of the whole quarantine the whole lockdown but take a look at the at the street here the quality of the street how how nice it looks and the road as well this is a brand new road which is a big deal in ukraine because in ukraine the roads are absolutely terrible in fact they're one of the worst roads in the world actually there's some african countries that are, that have better roads but it is improving but this is what this new kindergarten looks like that was built just recently look how new it is and beautiful and so this was built and opened just for the president right here in the outskirts of Kharkov the second largest city in Ukraine and so it looks pretty impressive too bad it's not it's not working right now but perhaps it's going to be opened later on so still pretty cool one thing to keep in mind is that you you hear these dogs barking all the time which kind of adds to the ambience of the whole city life or village life here and the other thing is there's no sidewalks here i have seen a couple but for the most part you are kind of forced to walk on the road which i believe is one of the least problematic things about now living here but that's just how it is so that is something to keep in mind of this very remote part of eastern europe and as you can see the road is in not in such a good condition but i'm pretty much all but used to this uh here in ukraine this is kind of how it is and this is something that you deal with it's only really good in the center of you know the big cities i would say but that is kind of how it is